Welcome. Today we're going to describe how to detect protein-protein interactions using a protein microarray. Using this method, we can probe thousands of proteins at a time with a tagged protein of interest and find putative interaction partners. Please refer to the protein microarray chapter of the Plant Mitogen Activated Protein Kinases Methods and Protocols volume of the Methods in Molecular Biology series for a detailed protocol. We'll start by thawing the protein microarray on ice for 5 to 10 minutes. Next, we'll pick up the slide by grasping the sides of the slide or the barcode and submerge the slide all at once in superblock buffer. Set that in the fridge and incubate for one to two hours to block the slide. Take the slide from the box by carefully removing the slide with tweezers. Drain the excess liquid on a paper towel. Quickly apply between 200 to 400 microliters of probing buffer containing your labeled protein probe without touching the surface of the slide. Cover the slide with a cover slip, like so. And place in an incubation chamber with wetted blotting paper lining the bottom for 90 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Gently drop the slide into PBST buffer to wash the probing buffer off the slide. Shake the slide for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Drain the buffer from the chamber and wash twice more with PBST. Retrieve the slide from the wash buffer, drain the excess liquid. Apply 300 microliters of a 1 to 1,000 dilution of Psi3 conjugated primary antibody. The antibody in this case is an anti-V5 antibody because our proprotein contains a V5 tag. Gently apply the cover slip and incubate in an incubation chamber at 4 degrees Celsius for one hour without shaking. Gently drop the slide into PBST buffer Shake the slide for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Drain the buffer from the chamber and wash twice more with PBST.
Wash once by quickly dipping the slide into a 50 milliliter tube containing deionized water. Drain the excess water from your slide and set it aside. Bunch up a Kim wipe and place it at the bottom of a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Place your slide on top of the Kim wipe and centrifuge it for 3 minutes at 800 times G. Allow the array to dry completely before scanning it. You will see a color change on the slide when it is dry. Load the array into the scanner after warming up the lasers. Scan the array at a low resolution at 60 PMT to determine the location of the proteins on the slide and the brightness of the signal. Try different PMTs until the maximum number of non-saturated spots appear. Saturated spots will appear white depending on how your program colors the signal. Be sure to scan all of the slides at high resolution with the same PMT within a single experiment. So there you have it, protein-protein interactions revealed using functional protein microarrays. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.